Well, I guess that's okay. Jeez, I have a boatload of stuff to, the, to get my t-shirt, go to the banks. Go to, oh, hello, folks. Welcome back, where I'm the one, the only Hobo Tom. I know, it's actually still Friday. Cheers, everyone. Oh, wait. Hit my music. I'm here because it's time for me to do some predictions, or as I, I like to call, <laughs> good guesses. So we have two big shows coming up this weekend. Yeah, by the time this is up, yeah, they'll also be playing time. We have Impact Turning Point, and we have WWE Survivor Series. Impact Turning Point is on Saturday. I'm going to see how much I can cover of that. I do have to work late tomorrow. I don't know what's going to happen. I'll definitely catch the highlights just to see how I did. Then Survivor Series is a little bit more normal. Is Kevin Owens in, in that? I forget. I don't know. I forget who's on the men's. Maybe Kevin Owens. Oh, no. That's right. I already showed someone else. That's Okay. So my predictions are all set. I couldn't get any guests here on such short notice. I had spa week. I had work. I have to go to the bank and deposit check. It's always good. And I have to do all that stuff. Fudge. I'm trying to think. Now, how much do I want to... I don't know. I'll figure that out very shortly. But I'm here to do some wrestling predictions. Again, you heard my music. I have sipped the glorious, glorious red wine. And I'm all set to make predictions. Gee, it takes me a while to finish off a whole bottle. That's okay. Let's start off with some impact turning point stuff. Um, I have no idea what order the card's going to be in. I kind of can take a good guess at the main event and what's going to happen other than that. I have no clue. I'll try to make the wrestling card as I go, probably tomorrow. I still have another video to make, and I'm going to sneak in some video game time. But let's see here. We have Brian Price start opening the match. This makes sense. Brian Myers versus Rich Swan. Who even cares about this match? This is my snooze match. I don't care if I miss this. Rich Swan should win. Again, I'll probably still be at work for that match, though. So I don't really care. Violent by Design, Eric Young, the man with the graveliest voice, is coming back into the squared circle. Versus Rhino and Heath Slater. I don't know. For some reason, I think with Joe Doring. Oh, yeah. He's just going to lose it more. Be more upsetting. Rhino and Heath Slater will win. Then we have Ace Austin versus Chris Sabin. That's going to be a fun match. Chris Sabin's getting older. His partner isn't around. There's no more Motor City machine gunners around. Ace Austin wins. He needs to win. Uh, w. Morrissey versus Matt Cardona. The big guy's going to win. W. Morrissey wins. And then, in my... Match of the night. Again, this is going to be for the X Division belt. Always the match of the night. Trey Miguel versus Laredo Kid versus Steve Macklin. I don't see any belts changing hands. Steve, Ma um, Trey Miguel is going to win. Radio Kids and AAA. We'll see what happens in a couple of weeks at July, in, uh, December 4th. Steve Macklin's just kind of fillering right now. Good filler, but filler nonetheless. Trey Miguel's going to win. He's keeping that belt for a little bit. We have the Good Brothers. Carl Anderson. The Machine Gunner. Carl Anderson. And Doc Gallows. Versus 
Oh, wait. There are two. Sweet. Four. Life. The, the Bullet Club. The OG Bullet Club versus a New Blood Bullet Club. Bullet Club's going to win. No, no, no. Good Brothers are going to keep those belts. Um, Decay versus Inspiration. Inspiration just got those belts. They're going to keep them for a little bit still. The Inspiration win. Mickey James versus Mercedes Martinez. This has wardrobe malfunction written all over it. Mickey James is going to win. And then in my stone cold lock of the night. There's only one person who's going to win this. Moose. Moose versus Eddie Edwards. Moose. Moose wins. That's my stone cold lock. And that's the end of Impact Turning Point. So you know what, folks? Let's take a little break. And whoa, let's talk about some Survivor Series, because that's the Thanksgiving Day week. Right, Chispa? Let's see here. I should get you on video. Come on, Chispa, come over here. Oh, come on here, you fat fluff muffin. There she goes. She just wants to sniff stuff. She's just happy. Honestly, she's just happy I'm home. Um, main event's going to be Roman Reigns versus Big E, SmackDown, and versus Raw Champion. Um, I'll, I'll get to these matches probably. Uh, let, let's try to go in order. Um, for the men's Survivor Series, Raw versus SmackDown. I'll tell you what. I want to change that. Bobby Lashley's been pretty strong. You know what? Because Bobby Lashley's there. For the men's side, it's going to be definitely Raw. And then for the Women's Survivor Series, I don't even know who's on the SmackDown side. They just released Tegan Knox. No one cares about Aaliyah anymore. Heck with it. Raw wins too. So that's 2-0. If you're not English speaking, that's 2-0. Raw. And let's get to the rest of the matches. Um, Damien Priest... Oh, we have the Battle Royal. Really? Um, you know what? This is not, not going to be the snooze because this could be interesting. Cesaro. Who mentioned Cesaro recently? You know what? I've mentioned Cesaro recently. Cesaro is going to win the Battle Royal. Mainly because I have no idea who else is in it. Then we have Damien Priest versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Again, the U.S. champion versus the IC champion. Shinsuke Nakamura wins. Mainly because I'm not a fan of... Damien Priest. And there's been absolutely zero... Zero build to this. Because you know what? Because there's been absolutely no build to this other than the both champions... Um, I would snooze through this. This could be a fun match. This has potential. RK Bro versus the Usos. I don't know. This is a this is a pickums. I think just because it would be more interesting. If the Usos lost, they can further everything that they're doing. I'll say RK Bro wins. More importantly, this is going to be my match of the night. And then, oh. 
This could get weird. Not necessarily good weird. Just weird. We have Charlotte Flair versus Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch doesn't like Charlotte. Charlotte's checked out. See, the thing is, if Charlotte wanted to go into business for herself, she would win. Becky's more of a professional. She would be going over. This is a tough one. In a shoot, Becky's in better shape than Charlotte. But Charlotte has the experience. Let's see here. So I have Raw, Raw, SmackDown. Yeah, I'll say Becky Lynch wins. Don't quote me on that, though. And then, in my stone cold lock, for Survivor Series, it's Roman Reigns versus Big E, as I hinted to earlier. SmackDown needs the win. Roman Reigns is the head of the table. Doesn't necessarily hurt Big E to lose. Especially if something screwy happens. My stone cold lock is that Roman Reigns wins. And that's the bottom line. Because Hobo Tom said so. And I've had my glass of red wine to cement it. So yeah, so those are my predictions for this weekend. Yeah, my impact. Before the Yano break, gave my predictions for Impact. Again, Mickey James versus Mercedes Martinez is just a wardrobe malfunction waiting to happen. Top or bottom, doesn't matter for me. Um, Raw is a little bit more conservative. Nearly right down the middle. <laughs> um, so that's it. So I'd like to... Th Thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. And probably after this video goes up, I'll put up my review for NXT. Or if not, that gets done tomorrow morning before I go to the banks. I don't know, sometime. Ooh, yeah. It has to be done some, sometime. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching.